Ram, Mr. Pradyo, will surely explain that. But what is different with Sorenskip is, we, we, we like what you mentioned yesterday, that this is not a prototype, we don't make prototypes in Sorenskip. Other 3D printers are prototype. This is not the making prototype and this is a very precise precision manufacturing equipment. So it actually handles a small high technology need of, of the industry, the niche, niche market, where they want to produce components with very high accuracy and they want an equipment which can help them do that. So this particular solid scale printer actually prints the components in wax which helps the organization to later on produce. So we found and we have, when we popularized SCAD in the jewelry market in 1999-2000 time frame, that's the that time when the jewelry industry was very reluctant because they, normally in the jewelry industry, they, they don't have engineers, they are artists and they are designers. But we helped them use SCAD software and we popularized it and that is one area we even developed a product to help them do it called Jewel Quick, which helped them do jewelry designing faster. Over a period of time, Idea Software company got taken over and this initiative stopped. But fact was that we popularized use of CAD in the jewelry industry. And we found this is a very good idea where we can take this technology and help the jewelry industry to make, utilize this to make their products faster and produce it better. And with that idea, we signed up with uh, SolidScape and we are bringing this, this printers now to the jewelry industry. Today evening we have an event where we will have more than 100 jewelry designers participating and witnessing this technology. And again as per our commitment, we already have trained manpower. We have the demo printers available with us and people are trained to support. We will support the customers to use it well so that they can keep buying and keep making more investments in buying these printers. So we plan to acquire a reseller network to uh, concentrate on various jewelry design market like in Chennai, Kolkata, Delhi and Mumbai, wherever jewelry is getting produced and popularize the use of solid scale uh, 3D printers in the jewelry segment. More than 90% is for jewelry, but we will surely also try because other industrial applications also in biomedical and uh, some kind of specific uh, uh, industries, they want precision components with small batch quantity where they, they can actually produce uh, using this uh, using the solid scale printer through investment casting certain components very economically. So those industries also will focus on. So our idea of this association is to focus on this, this, this market for promoting this precision uh, 3D printers. Can you hear me? Thank you very much everybody for being here. It's a pleasure to be able to speak to such a large audience today. Um, I don't know if I can do a better job describing Soliscape, the business and, and the relationship, but most of my focus will be around the partnership between Soliscape and Scientech. So there is a in the, when you look at the evolution of the industry, and many of you have been uh, definitely reading or learning about 3D printing, there has been a fast growth over the last few years. The industry has grown exponentially over the last five, six years, reaching over $8 billion in revenue in 2017 and projecting over $21 billion by 2021. So what's happening in the industry is that there is a need to change the requirements on how we take products to market. So definitely as manufacturers, there is, a, there is a, an increasing demand in the performances of our products. But in terms of ability to distribute the product, we need to take <coughs> the game to the next level. Now this is the reason why the relationship with design tech has become strategic. So bringing products to market with the, with the usual um, reseller network or with the usual distribution partnership, it's not really being uh, seen as an effective way to take products to market. So the key here is 
to build strategic relationships with partners that actually understand the market, understand the customers, that can, can provide on time and on quality support to the end users in order to guarantee the return on investment. So when I look at SolidScape, we have been in business for a few years. We have been among the pioneers of the 3D printing industry. The technology was developed in 1994 and has found adoption in the last 10, 12 years. We have been able to expand multiple markets, but thanks to the precision and the accuracy of, of the technology, we have, been, we have gained a lot of traction from industries like jewelry, education, mainly advanced research um, institutions, um, medical, medical devices, every industry where high precision for complex intricate geometries was required. Now, what sets us apart and what makes critical the partnership between Soliscape and Design Tech is the fact that, as mentioned before, Soliscape is not another 3D printer. Is a manufacturing tool. It's a critical component of a manufacturing process. So it's utilized on the shop floor by people that are actually producing parts that will end up on your fingers, on your ears, in your body, <laughs> in your mouth, replacing teeth, so on and so forth. So you understand that the, the performances of the product in itself will lead to be able to satisfy that kind of requirements, running 24-7, production parts, precision level that is required for end-use parts, surface finish, model quality that has to satisfy the highest accuracy requirements, but at the same time also require an infrastructure in the country close to the end users to basically support and make sure that customers are properly trained, are properly serviced, but they're helped on a daily basis through application engineering and application development in optimize and maximize the utilization of, of the printer itself. So it's been an exciting journey for us over the last few years. We have been expanding globally in um, we have had a fast expansion in, in uh, Europe, primarily, and then North America. In the last couple of years, China has been a key market for us, and now it's time to basically take India to the next level. We have had an initial, let's say we have tipped our toes uh, for a few years trying to um, get attraction in the Indian market, but clearly, in order to guarantee an adoption, especially the customers are satisfied and that there is a return on investment and the product actually is part of the solution rather than just the tool. We needed to have a strategic partnership with a company that had all the requirements to take solid scale and our product to the next level. So this covers pretty much what I want to say. I don't know if there is any specific